Jadon Sancho's meteoric rise since leaving Manchester City for Borussia Dortmund continued in this international break with a starring role in England's 5-0 win against the Czech Republic. And for Manchester United fans, it's an exciting idea that Sancho could be joining Man United this summer after so many transfer rumours linked him with a move to Old Trafford. I've covered all of those in a full story look at all of the transfer gossip with Sancho to United, so make sure you check that video out. But what I want to do is follow up on that video by taking a look at maybe how Sancho could fit in at United, taking a look at the skill set that he has, how he's thrived at Dortmund, and how maybe Solskjaer could employ those same formations and tactics at United to get the most out of Sancho if we were to sign him in the summer. But before we get into the video, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go down there and subscribe if you're a regular. Just hit the like button, why not? But let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to look at is how has Sancho done so well out in Dortmund? Now, Lucien Favre's Dortmund side really use a 4-2-3-1 formation and that has helped Sancho massively because it allows him to hug the right wing properly. But something that really does help as well is Dortmund's style of play. They do like to have patient build-up play in the defence. Don't mind passing it across the defence plenty of times. And by doing that, it invites the forwards of the opposition to press. And by doing that, it starts to create space further up the pitch. Space which Sancho can then exploit because he is rapid. It's certainly one of the key characteristics of Sancho's game. But his runs in behind, you can't stop him. And with Dortmund's style of play, allowing those spaces to be created, it's really helped Sancho blossom. That's why he's got 12 assists and 8 goals just in the Bundesliga alone. I mean, it's an incredible return for a 19-year-old, especially when you consider it's his first year moving to a different country, to a different league. But Sancho's taken to it like a duck to water. And Lucien Favre's 4-2-3-1 system and the fact that the defence plays nice possession-based, patient build-up has allowed those spaces in behind. But the thing that's most exciting about Sancho is that he's not just a pacey winger. He's got so much more to his game. Sancho is an absolutely fantastic dribbler. In tight spaces, his close control with the ball is superb. And that makes it incredibly difficult for a defender to mark him because a defender, they would try and stop the spaces. So sit a little bit deeper, sit off Sancho to cover the spaces so he can't run in behind. If they do that, he can then dribble at them with the ball. So then they have to come tighter. For a defender, it's harder to mark an unpredictable winger. Somebody who has the pace to run in behind you, but the technical ability to run past you if he wants to. And that is what makes Sancho so dangerous. Because he's not just a one-trick pony. He really isn't. And it makes it impossible to mark. And it's what made Ronaldo so good in his pump at United. I'm not saying that Sancho is, is going to be as good as Ronaldo, but you see similarities in their, in their style. And just watching a player like Sancho run at a defender with pace and the ball at his feet, it's exciting. And he does have that part to his game. And as well as being a fantastic dribbler, obviously having pace to burn, Sancho's intelligence and discipline on the pitch is beyond his years. You know, at 19, his decision-making ability is fantastic. And I think that's reflected in the fact that he decided to turn his back on Man City and Guardiola and winning the Premier League and went to Dortmund. Took a major risk, but it's paid off. And I think that's sort of reflected in his whole game. You know, positionally, under Favre in this 4-2-3-1 system, Sancho's happy to hug the right wing and stay there on the right wing. He won't drift inside all the time like Sanchez or Lingard would if they were playing on the wings. He'll sit and wait for the ball to come to him in the spaces that are there. And that's crucial because United don't really have a right wing at the moment. We haven't for some time. But Sancho's got the positional discipline to stick to it and wait for the right opportunities rather than trying to force the opportunities. And from an intelligence perspective, he's not just about running down the wing or trying to run past a player with a ball at his feet. He's got a good passing range on him as well. Vision-wise, he's got that too. It's why he's got so many assists. He's always looking up for the right pass. He's never really rushed in what he's doing. There's so many different spokes to Sancho's wheel at 19. It's what makes him such an exciting player. So to boot with the dribbling and the pace, he's a really intelligent and smart footballer already at 19. 
and that's very exciting. So having taken a look at the skill set, what type of style Sancho would bring, let's take a look at the formations maybe that Solskjaer could use next season and maybe the one that will get the most out of Sancho at United. It may seem obvious, but I really feel that the 4-2-3-1 is how you're going to get the most out of Sancho at United if he was to join this summer. Because it's the best formation for him. It's what he's blossomed under at Dortmund. It's the one that he's used to now. And because if you do that and you play Paul Pogba sort of as a number 10, it would allow Sancho to play close to Pogba. Whereas if he plays a little bit deeper, that might be a bit more stretched. It also allows potentially a partnership to start between Dalo and Sancho down the right-hand side, like United have with Shaw and Martial down the left-hand side. And we certainly need that partnership because having somebody who's doing overlapping runs like Dalo will create a ton of space for Sancho to exploit. So it might seem obvious on paper to say it, but using the same formation at United with Sancho that he's had at Dortmund will certainly get the most out of him. Of course, Solskjaer could use a 4-3-3 as well. That would really see Sancho operate as a really traditional right winger, really staying out there, not really covering back in defence, just waiting for the right time to make that run. Now in this formation, I've, as I said previously, I think he'll be slightly more isolated, a little bit further away from Paul Pogba. And that takes away a part of his game. You know, with Marco Royce at Dortmund, he's got that player there that's always ready to pass. And it allows him to create one-twos to run in behind defenders. I feel like he'd have to do a lot more individual work if in, in a 4-3-3 four, four, three, three formation. And there'll be a lot more pressure on Delo to really run up and down and offer that support. So it's not the worst formation in the world, but I think doing this just takes away a little bit from his game, makes it more about the individual. As a traditional right winger, it wouldn't be a bad formation, but I think the 4-2-3-1 would work a little bit better. And another formation which United could use with him is a 4-1-2-1-2. United and Solskjaer have used this quite a lot, playing Lukaku and Rashford up front, playing with two strikers, sort of sitting a bit deeper and hitting hard on the counter-attack. Now in this formation, you're probably going to drop Sancho in as a number 10. And I wouldn't really want to do that. First of all, it forces him to play a little bit more central. And I think he's definitely going to be a right winger for United if we sign him. So why force him into the middle? And by doing that, you then force Paul Pogba to play a little bit deeper as well. Again, not a good thing. So I think in this formation, it'd be better if Sancho maybe came on for the last 30 minutes and played up front rather than out in that number 10 role. And that's my own opinion, but I think looking at these three formations, it's definitely the 4-2-3-1 where you're going to get the most out of him. Allows him to be that right winger, allows him to create a partnership with Delo at right back, and it allows him to play 1-2 football with Paul Popper in the middle, and maybe Herrera as well. It's just a little bit less isolated, and I think it gets the most out of him completely. And this graphic here showing the average position of United players in 2018-19 sums up exactly why we need Jadon Sancho. Look at that right-hand side. There is no right wing. You've got Ashley Young playing a little bit deeper, but no one really playing right wing. On the left, you've got Shaw, you've got Martial, you've got Paul Pogba. But we need something down the right, and that is what Jadon Sancho could be for United. That is why I feel United should go all out to sign him. Sancho to United might not happen. Maybe Dortmund will hold out for £150 million and United will refuse to pay it. But if Sancho does join United, it would bring the most direct threat on the right wing that we have had since Ronaldo. I'm not saying that Sancho's going to be as great as Ronaldo, but just having somebody with real confidence who's a natural right winger will make so much difference to our attack, which I still consider quite predictable. United always go down the left. We can't go down the right at the moment. With Sancho in, we could. But what formation do you think would get the most out of Sancho at United? if the transfer was to go through. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. And if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, though, take it easy.